Would you welcome my mates back on stage? Pixie Jenkins and Warren H. Williams. And glory to Australia. Glory to Australia. Down under they say we are. Over the moon am I with you in the southern land. Glory to Australia. Down under they say we are. Over the moon am I with you in the southern land. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage John Williamson. Tell me all her secrets Will I tell her all of mine If I make a feather bed Will she love me all the time Had I not the hustle town uh, John Williams is still still a lad that was born in Quambatook in the Mallee um, I don't think I've changed In fact, the nicest thing someone else can say to me is that I that I'm normal or I haven't changed over the 43 years I've been in the business Will she love me enough to follow? Will she love me enough to stay? Somewhere in winter green Gonna find a shack on a rocky hill Where all the rabbits go I wrote Old Man Emu in 1970 and it went number one for five weeks I'd even got airplay in Ohio or somewhere. It was number one in New Zealand. Let me tell you of an interview with an old man he knew. He's got a beak and feathers and things with the poor old fella ain't got no wings. Aren't you jealous of the witch tail eagle and battle it da 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 while the eagle's flying round and round to keep it two feet firmly on the ground. Now I can't fly, but I'm telling you, I can run the pants of a kangaroo. But I do. And it was a comedy song and everything but it took me 16 years after that really to come up with an album that people took me as a serious singer-songwriter so you know I went through a lot during that period just learning how to be an entertainer really that was in the pubs that's going back to when I first did the pubs Penn Hills in and there's that box that I designed to push into a pub and it was had a microphone on it and I sat on an old drawer that used to be full of product. I went at, at Combo's Waterhole where apparently um, Banjo Patterson was inspired to write Walsh and Matilda and there's the waterhole where the swaggy jumped into the water and all that. To think back on it now, it's almost embarrassing what I've, what I've had to do, you know, like, I had a, I, like for instance, one low point, I didn't think I was getting anywhere with the Australian stuff and I, I uh, put on a clown's nose and a bowler hat and completely disguised myself, called myself Ludwig Leichhardt and started doing the pubs. I was treated like an absolute unknown so I, I learnt straight away how young rock and rollers get treated by pubs and 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 promoters basically, like dirt, you know. And we'd, we'd walk out of a pub and leave them without a, without a show and that sort of stuff so yeah well it changed me in 86 when I released Mally Boy and that had Raining on the Rock Galleries of Pink Galahs, Cooter Munra Waddle, True Blue, um, those sort of songs, which were uh, serious Aussie songs and uh, not like anything else. Pastel red, burgundy, and spinifex to gold. Who just come out of the Molga where the plains forever roll. Albert Namajira has painted all the scenes And a shower has changed the luster of his land And it's raining on the rock In a beautiful country I'm proud to travel this big land I 
as an aborigine It's raining on the rock What an almighty sight to see I'm wishing on a postcard That you were here with me All Australians are proud of their outback and they're proud of the people that battle in it. And I think when I realised that, I didn't try anymore to be trendy or, you know, try and write songs in the city. The songs I write are about people who actually like being where they are, whereas I think a lot of city songs, people are, are bitching about where they are. Thank you. Well, you all know I started down here and uh, moved to Sydney and, uh, and all that. And, uh, and I'll end up in Queensland. I'm kind of an East Aussie these days. I was born below the Murray where the south wind blows colder Reminds you in the winter that you're getting on Where the Mallee holds on to the soil that's too sandy It buried my fences and gave me a song Next thing I knew I was blown to the brigalows Grew wheat and sorghum like I'd never grown But then flooding rains without any warning Followed by drought like I'd never known I've always really loved that, um, that bush atmosphere that you see where they're not allowed to build anything permanent, so they build out of scrap what they find around. I love that atmosphere, you know, it's kind of a really Australian bush atmosphere. It, it sort of goes back to the pioneer days in a lot of ways. And I, I like to have part of my yard like that, so we can sit around the campfire and you could be anywhere in the country. As soon as you light the campfire, all these trees become home, they become the boundaries of, because the, the fire lights them up in the circle. And uh, that's what I love doing when I'm, when I'm out in the bush, you know, I used to take we have a day off of the crew, I go ahead and set up a campfire on a river somewhere and collect a bit of wood. And by the time they got there I have mashed potatoes ready and the chops on. And in, when I'm in the bush surrounded by wildlife, especially birds, I couldn't be happier. Heaven couldn't be any better than this, so I don't worry about what's there here in the life here after. I, I think, you know, it's every, you've got every chance to find heaven in this life and this is it. And I've been all around Australia and this is the best. Right here. Yes, I'll hang my hat in Queensland. You should see my point of view. I found my bush home in the nest of an eagle where I fell in love with you. I love putting pen to paper and always have. You know, I haven't pulled my punches all the way through the book. There's some things that, that gave me the shits and I got on about them. But you know, my career is, I've always looked forward and I've never been a negative person, so I don't like to dwell on, on, the, on the bad past. Don't go looking through that old camper box, woman. You know those old things only make you cry. When you dream upon that little bunny rug. Makes you think that life has passed you by. There are days Honey, uh, a couple of years ago, I ended up, or t two or three years ago, it took a while to get over, I ended up with uh, bladder cancer. But yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't want anyone feeling sorry for me. I didn't, uh, didn't want to make a thing of it, because what wouldn't have been good for my career anyway. Everyone would think we'll probably, you know, uh, might have a problem getting a recording contract, and people wouldn't want to book me because, you know, they mightn't turn up. So that was a tough time. More about that, uh, and, and you know the the having the poison poured in your bladder wasn't wasn't a good nice thing either. But I I went through it all. I've, no one know, knew about it before this book, nor hardly anyone. Just the close friends. It's Sunday and you should stop the worry. Come out here and sit down in the sun. Can't you hear the magpies in the distance? Don't you feel the new day has begun? 
Can't you hear the bees making honey, woman? In the spotted guns where the bellbirds ring. You might grow old and bitter cause you missed it. You know some people never hear such things. I've had a lot of things I've been dreaming about and been waiting for my, for my career to slow down, so I do it, but it's not, not slowing down. People, I go on stage now and I say, well, look, I've been wanting to retire, but you keep turning up, so what do I do? I've got to keep doing it, you know. It's hard. It's the, big, the hardest drug to kick is showbiz, I think, while, when, when it's going well, you know. Is it me and you? Is it mum and dad? Is it a cockatoo? Is it it's, it's a long, hard grind to actually build your own own audience, but in the long run, that's what I've got. I have my own audience. I'm, in a lot of ways, I'm not competing with anybody. That's yours, one. True. I'm asking you. The, the funny thing is, is the parents play my music to their kids and then the kids get married and then they, then they play it to their kids and uh, I have the whole family coming all the time you know I, I was just on the uh, in the Pacific and the, one of the waitress girls she would only been 20 I suppose and she said oh, I want to tell you my dad dad loved you he's a truckie and he died not so long ago and, and uh, you know true blue it means a lot to her and, and that kind of thing is going on all the time you know it's I remind kids of their parents and then they, they take them to the show and and they seem to do the same thing for their kids. True Blue Eyes is real Australians who aren't trying to be trendy, they don't, it's just, it's just natural, honest stuff, you know. Do you really care? Hey, True Blue. Here's where you join in right now, everybody. True Blue. Is it me and you? One thing I said often after shows is thanks for reminding us of who we are. And I think if I can do that, I've done my job, you know. Thank you.